Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here back bringing you the trade day results. Uh, this might be a while, so just sit back, relax, and I'll just go through the trades, and we're going to see what we get. So, it's around 7.30pm, that's about the same time I was going to do the traded results, or at least I said I was going to do it. Uh, this should be enough for Hut Roulette. I've taken a look at some of the offers just to make sure I know some of the player values, but other than that, uh, there might be some new trades coming in, I might just not know, because there are some November cards out that just recently came out, and those values can be fluctuating all around, so I'm not exactly sure. But even these guys, uh, Ho Hadobin, sorry, I said his name so weird, I think it was Hobidin, I, I think I said, uh, Hadobin, uh, has no trade offers on him, but Yuri Tulusti, uh, Sharp with 14, Crawford with 8, Hosa with 20, Jonathan Taves with 23 offers, so, this is going to be a doozy, just so, just relax and I will get through them, alright, so we'll start off with Yuri Tulusti first with 5 trade offers, and thank you guys for sending in trades, I know it was very short term, but I actually like short term rather than long term because I people send in so many troll trades is ridiculous over a day, and when you guys actually only get four or five hours, uh, it doesn't give many people a chance to send in troll trades, right? Uh, but anyways, I get some legit trades here. So Camillary, Orpic, and Boyle. Uh, no thanks for that though. I'm go uh, Yuri Tulusti. I can quick sell for I think 5.8k, so it's not worth it too much for me. And that deal, see, like I get the 6k quick sell with two players, Yuri Dano. And Blake Wheeler, that is a great deal. Tenart, uh, Ternat, Ternaski, Ternaski. I don't know how to say his name. I, I know he's from the Hamilton Bulldogs. I should know his name because I live in Hamilton, uh, but I don't know how to say it. Uh, Nilsen, uh, Darnell Nurse, and 15 game duration. 15 game duration is around three to four k, like always. But other than that, I don't really like the players in that deal. Uh, then we got Jason Spezza and Nicholas Backstrom and 1,000. Ooh. That is not too bad, because uh, I do like Jason Spezza for his value. I think it's around 6k. Uh, with the 1000 and Backstrom, the thing is, I'm going to reject it because Spezza is on the left wing. And that other offer we just looked at, I think that's more solid, because I don't know how hard it is to sell Jason Spezza. And at this point, I'm, I'm not going to be using Giordano and Blake Wheeler, because I already have them on my free pack team. So, you know what? Uh, I'm going to quick. I'm gonna sell this. Or, I mean, reject this, just because uh, I would rather have the 6k pucks. And we got 5k straight up. Alright, enjoy your Yuri Tulusti. I'm hoping that uh, one day he'll get a 99 card and you can uh, really capitalize on his value there. Uh, you might just want to hold on to him. You never know. Alright, so next up would be uh, Corey Crawford with 8 trade offers. He's boosted 99 overall. Someone did it for him. I actually didn't do it. I just bought him from the market. I actually wanted to make a whole Chicago uh, trade pile, but that didn't really work out. Because I didn't have enough pucks. I, I wanted to buy Duncan Keith, but it didn't work. But... Uh, we got Trevor Daly, left defenseman, right defenseman, Niskanen, and Bozak. Um, that's like 12k, that's pretty good, I like it. Uh, Jimmy Howard and Bobby Ryan. So Jimmy Howard's like, what, 3 to 4k with Bobby Ryan, he's like 7 to 8k. So that's, I think that's a bit better than this deal, in my opinion. Uh, the four players don't interest me too much in this deal. Two solid players, not really that many pucks, so we're going to have to see for sure. Uh, 10,000 Johansson, uh, compared to this deal, yes, this does have pucks, but I like the players. I mean, I think that's 10k right there in players. Uh, next up, we got Mark andre Fleury. He goes for like 6, 7k. Uh, Mark Edward Vlasic, not too much nowadays. Uh, John Carlson, Philpula, and 1,100 uh, pucks, which is not too bad, actually. I actually like that. You know what? I will, um, I will delay that. Uh, we got 9,000 Lupul and Reimer. No, no, I'm not too interested in the Toronto squad there. Uh, what else do we got here? 9,000 and Nazim the Dream. No, Nazim the Dream is quick sell value. Sorry, when I'm full, I just randomly want to burp. Uh, but, oh uh, yeah, okay, so Jason Spezza, he's around 6k. I already know that. I already checked the value. And then we got uh, Yuri Tulusti, goes for 6, 7,000. Mark andre Fleury goes for 6, 7,000. Gabriel Laniscaw goes for at least through 2 to 3, I would think. I think that's the best deal out of all of them, if I'm going to compare. Yeah, solid players there. Uh, solid players there, not enough pucks. But then you get Yuri Tulusti, who is quick sell value, who I can also just sell if I really wanted to. You know what? Three solid players there. I'm going to take that for Corey Crawford. Enjoy uh, your Corey Crawford. I think he's fully boosted for at least another 10 games. So if you actually want to play with him, you could be lighting it up. I mean, the other team can't light it up, right? Alright, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, alright? Whatever, fuck it. Toffoli, Nugent Hopkins, and Pair On. I do like Tyler Toffoli. He's a really good player in real life. Uh, I'm just not sure how much he goes for. I'll delay it. I'll delay it. 
Uh, Patch ID Kane, Stahl, Anderson, and 3.5k. No, I'm going to reject that. Craig Anderson is like a 2k player now. Like, you can't even sell him. Mark Stahl, Patch ready. Ugh. I like the first offer better, in my opinion. Even with Tyler Toffoli, I can just automatically sell him my opinion. 12,000 Skinner, I'm going to reject that. That's a little bit too little for Sharp. Uh, Sharpie boy. Ryan Miller and Backstrom. I think now we're talking a little bit. Backstrom's around 10, 11k. Ryan Miller's around, I think, 10k as well. So you're getting about 20k with that deal. Compared to this deal, I can reject that. I don't think Tyler Toffoli goes for more than 20k. He's only 85 overall, right? But uh, let's see what else we got here. Nugent Hopkins and Howard. Uh, no thanks for that. That definitely does not go for 20k. Uh, 15k and McKinnon. I like that. I like that. McKinnon's like 10 to 12k, I think. So you're getting good 27. So I like it. Ryan Kessler? Are you serious? Ryan Kessler's like 30k, right? That's a solid deal. I like that. John Carlson, uh, no, no, no. He is boosted, but if he wasn't boosted at 94 overall, I would take that Carlson in a heartbeat. Uh, but 13.5k, those three players, if I'm going to compare with the Ryan Kessler, I mean, three solid 87 and 80, or two solid 87 and 88 players, but the, just the value is not there. I'm going to reject that one as well, the first one. The Miller and Backstrom, I do like, but McKinnon 15k, I don't think he can beat. Uh, I, actually, it can be beat by the Ryan Kessler. What am I saying? Ryan Kessler is better. Uh, I know he's around 30k. Let's see what else we got here. Joe the Ho and Logan. Someone said I pronounced Couture wrong. Someone uh, that is a San Jose fan, let me know how to pronounce it right. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I don't watch enough Shark games. Uh, but Thornton and Couture. I don't know. Uh, Couture. Couture is like 12k. I think 11 to 12k. So you're getting about 17 and Big Joe. I like that. Uh, what? 15k Bozak and Yasin. Are you serious? I think Yasin's still 100k. <laughs> what the hell? Someone just said in Yasin. Oh man, to the Patrick Sharp. I mean, I think Yasin's the value of at least four Patrick Sharps at this point. And I'm kidding you not. It's, he's 82 overall, but he's worth a crap ton. You guys know. L Milan Lucci, Jordan Stahl. I don't, <laughs> I don't think anybody can beat the Yasin deal. So whoever sent that in, thank you so much. That's going to help out a crap ton. I mean, Yasin, I think, is around... 100k right now, Bozak, quick sell value, but then you got 15k as well, so you're basically getting 115k for Sharp, I don't even know what to say, thank you so much whoever sent that in, I'm not sure if you did that intentionally or accidentally, but I will take it, that would be Hut Roulette fun, so thank you, thank you so much, and we got Marion Hosa and Jonathan Taves left, we're going to save Taves for the last, because he is the most expensive player, so we're going to go through Hosa, he's around 75 to 80k around there, just hovering, uh, but he is 91 overall, and he is a solid defensive player. I know some people have them on their fourth line, which is ridiculous, but Marion Hosa is a great player. All right, so first off, Rick the Dick, uh, Nash, and 9K. Rick, the, Rick Nash is lighting it up in the NHL, I know that. Uh, but I don't think he's worth too much compared to Hosa. I'm going to reject the Rick Nash deal. Uh, David Perron, we can reject automatically. Uh, Jamie Ben, Martin St. Louis, Gabrick, and 5K. So Jamie Ben's like, what, 50, 60K? Um, with Martin St. Louis, Gabrick 5. You know what? That's pretty solid. I like it. Ryan Kessler, Daniel Sedin, Henrik Sedin, Gabrick, and 1.9k. Hmm. We already picked up a Kessler, and the two Sedins don't interest me too much, even though they are twins, and it's nice to have a pairing of them. The thing is, their values aren't too much this year, and I don't really like that. I'm going to reject that. I like the first deal better. Uh, in terms of Jamie Ben, you're getting a solid 90 overall, right? But let's see what we got here. Loken, Couture, Vlasic, Yandel, and Luongo. Lou, um... No, no thanks for that. Uh, the values don't go for too much on that. I gotta speed this up a little bit. Uh, Corey Crawford, like, this is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not sure how much the Movember cards go for right now. But I'm not gonna think Corey Crawford goes for too much. But you never know, he might have a Team of the Year card. And then, you know, his value might shoot up to, like, a mil. Who knows, right? Uh, but Filipula, Anderson, and Koivu. Am I going to take that for Hosa? I'll have to see, alright? Let's compare the offers. I, I will check out Crawford if there is a um, debatable offer there and also, right? But Parise, Sedin, and 3.6. Parise is around 55, and then you're getting Sedin, uh, which is around 10, so you're getting about 65, 68. Not bad, but the other offer was better, the first one at least. I like the Jamie Ben deal a little bit better. A uh, lot of pucks there, uh, Hagelin, Airhop, quick sell value players. If you added a couple, like, at least semi-good players, I maybe would have taken it. Uh, Anderson, three change teams. Yeah, uh, I don't need the change teams at the moment. You might as well just sell them and then just give me the pucks for it. 
Uh, but Eric Carlson, he's like a 40 to 50k player right now. If you want a good defenseman, Carlson just might be your pickup that you want to get on your team. But uh, unfortunately, not for Marion Hosa. I'm going to reject that. And then we also got a couple more deals here. 20,000. Sadin Sadin, Ryan, and George Peros, the mustache man. How does he not have a Movember card? That's why I want to know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to reject this deal. Once again, I'm not interested in the Sadin uh, twins, even though they are really good players in real life. Uh, just that I don't want to take it. Um, Miku Koivu, Eric Stahl, Seabrook, Raymond. Oh, 50k as well. Holy crap. Um, wait, Mason Raymond, I think is around like 15, 20k. Eric Stahl is around 10k. Koibu is, I think, still 5k, 5 to 10k. Uh, I'm undervaluing all these guys too. Uh, Brent Seabrook, I think, is 20 something k. So you're getting about 100 and some k for this deal as well. Whoever sent that in, thank you so much. Uh, if you compare the offers at this point, the Jamie Ben, great deal, but that offer takes the cake. This deal, Corey Crawford, I don't want to take the chance right now. That deal for. Really, really solid players and 50,000 pucks. I'm pretty sure that is a donation, and I'm not exactly sure, but these guys can let me know uh, in the comments box below if you did send in those trades. I'm not sure who it is, but thank you. Brent Seabook. Brent Seabook. Seabrook. And uh, I think it's, I don't know his first name, but Hadobin, right? Uh, I'm going to reject that deal. We can definitely tell this first deal is very, very good. Dia and 57K, I'm going to reject. Uh, we got 30k, uh, Yager, Eric Stahl, Luongo, and Vanek. Yager, I think, is not too expensive nowadays. Uh, his skating is not the greatest, and people understand that. And Yager is, like, I think he's, like, huge, right? 6'4", 230. Uh, the thing is, you can't really boost him that much. So, you know what? I'm going to reject that deal as well. That first deal, just, I don't think it's, unbe I don't think it's beatable. Uh, Jason Pominville uh, goes for around 20 to 30k. So, like, with this deal, you're getting about, like, your 50, 60k. So, eh gonna reject that not horrible though uh again la raymond we just picked up whoa there is a get uh a raymond on this deal so i might just delay that or reject that back is dean landis got gabrick first deal is obviously better at this point myers and 70k solid amount of pucks uh solid player he's not too bad he's like four to five k or five to six k maybe uh so you're getting a good value for marion hosa but when you compare it with the first offer like it's just not beatable uh same with this deal Tyler Toffoli, yes, you're getting Tyler Toffoli, uh, but the first deal worth almost 100k or above. Uh, Yetman, I think I actually might need Yetman, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm not going to take it for Marion Hosa. So, thank you very much to whoever sent in this deal. Enjoy your Marion Hosa, I'm hoping that uh, he will play great for you. And let me know if you did send this in, whoever that was. Uh, obviously, there's going to be like 100 people in the comments saying, oh, they sent it in. Uh, but, let's see what we got here. Corey Crawford, Pouliot, and Martinez. Crawford is 10k plus, so Puglia, Martinez, they're just quick sell value players, so you're getting at least, I'm saying at least 11k for Corey Crawford, and Kadobin right now, or Hadobin, sorry, is worth just about 8, 9k, so thank you to whoever sent in this deal, enjoy your, uh, I think his name is Antoine, I'm not sure, uh, that name just resonates in my head for some reason, but Hadobin, enjoy, maybe he'll get to maybe 88, 89 overall someday, but you never know. Alright, so last but not least, Jonathan Taves with 24 trade offers. Let's get through this, boys. Let's see what we got here. Schultz, Scrivens, Everly, Richards. I'm going to reject that deal. Kyle Turris, we're going to reject. If they're not going for above 100k, then I'm not even going to take a look at it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this deal, okay. Uh, Duchesne, Kessel, Keith, and Gabby. So, we know Duchesne's around 210, 220k with the pucks. You're getting about 230 with Gabrick, 235. Uh, Kessel is about 90k right now, 90 to 95. So you're getting about 320 with Duncan Keith. No, that's about half the value of Taves at the moment. Like, like visually it looks appealing, but when you look at Taves, 93 overall centerman, uh, he he just goes for a crap ton right now. I'm not looking to get rid of him. When I, I'm telling you, when I pulled Jonathan Taves, I was so confused and so happy at the same time i couldn't even explain it almost like the stamkos one except i i think i lost my voice during the stamkos one uh so i couldn't even scream uh i didn't scream though i didn't scream no no <laughs> all right anyways pavel datsuk boyle seabrook and the martin saint louis uh that's like eh, 200k i'm gonna reject that uh no thanks for that deal kessler yeah the sedines and seabrook i can't take that for taves unfortunately 
Uh, we got a solid amount of pucks here. Okay, so 280,000 here. Giroud is around 85. So you're getting about 350. I'm just going to generalize right here. Around 350, right? Around 360, 360. With Pavel Datsu, Pavel Datsu is going for around 110. Uh, so you're getting about 470. Pecorine definitely would bring it up to 500, uh, 510 maybe. With the Suits Magoots, it's around 130. So you're getting about, I would say 630. 630k with this deal. Uh, I, I'm really hesitant about taking this deal because I know I can sell Jonathan Taves right away for around 670, 680. But that is not too bad of a deal. You know what? I will delay it. Not horrible, all right? Hosa, Parise, Datsuk, and Kunitz. Um, I can just automatically tell it's not worth this deal because you get the 280,000 pucks. I think 280,000 will equal all those players right there. And the 64k, eh, not too interested in that deal. Uh, I might even reject that first deal just to see if he can send in a counter offer. But other than that, um, I'll just keep it with me for now. Hansel burns little cucks. Oh shit, alright, alright. Being a Mr. Smart guy here. Alright, 240k here. Taylor Hall and Babel Datsu, oh god. People are really creative these days. Datsu, like, uh, like I said, 110k. So you're getting about 350 with the Holly Boy. You're getting about 510, 520 maybe. Uh, no thanks for that deal. I like the first deal for sure. Uh, I like the puck amount, but at least I don't have to apologize about people trying to raise that uh, coin total up to like 300,000 now. It actually only takes like 10 seconds. John Tavares, Jamie Benn, Nicholas Cronwall. Uh, no thanks for that. That's still under like 300k. And uh, Barkov, no, no, no. I can't take that. Uh, oh, okay. I like the puck amount, just not the players. Bufflin, Lucci, Leginla. Uh, really, really just not even breaking 500k in my opinion with this deal. So I'm going to reject that. Because once I accept the 475k, I get a 5% tax on that too. So it's not even equal 500k anymore. But I like this deal. Four solid players. 280k. That's, uh, that's not bad. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, Giroud, uh, Martin St. Louis, and the Dusty Bufflin. Um, no thanks for that. I do like Bergeron, but Jonathan Taves, uh, not willing to give up for Bergeron at the moment, just in terms of value-wise. Uh, Bergeron's a great player, just Jonathan Taves. I uh, can't beat him too much right now with value. Uh, one of the most expensive players in the game. Host of Jamie Ben, Bergeron, Rene. Yeah, once again, uh, three like 60 to 70k players. I just cannot take that at the moment. Uh, four guys right here. I can't take that for Taves. I'm sorry. He's basically sending in counter offers. But Duchesne, Giroud, Parise, and Kessler. That's around, I would say, under 500k. So I can reject that. I'm going to generalize a little bit more. Seidenberg like Bennett. I don't know, man. I'm not sure these guys are actually making sentences with it, but no thanks for that. Um, we got Zetterberg, Duchesne, Kessel, and Ben. All right, so Zetterberg's around 200. Duchesne's around 200, so you're getting about 400. With Kessel, you're getting about 500. With Jamie Ben, still not breaking it. Uh, Jamie Ben is not too like high of a value player at the moment. Uh, Getzlaff, he's around 170. Corey Perry, around 170 as well, so you're getting about 340. Tuka Rask, you're getting about... Around 420, 420, and uh, Zach Parise. I don't know why I laughed at that. Sorry, <laughs> Zach Parise. Yeah, that's like around 500k. I like uh, Getzlaff and Perry, but the deal just automatically. I'm not enjoying. Oh, Ryan Suter. I, I don't know how much Ryan Suter goes for. I will have to check uh, for you guys. But I like that deal. It's not not half bad. I do like Mov I do like November cards, but that is a really high overall. 92 overall, Ryan Suter. Uh, for Jonathan Taves. I'm not sure if the value is there because defensemen usually go for a little bit less and his overall is a bit lower, but we're going to have to check. You never know. Uh, Latang, Barry Nelson, and Brody. No, no. Like, I, I don't really want that. And then we also got 50,000. Ooh. Quick suitor, Petrangelo, and Kopitar. So this deal right away, we can reject that, right? I mean, this deal, you already have your suitor, and he's throwing in Jonathan Quick. I think it's worth around 150k at the moment. So you're getting about 200k. Petrangelo and Kopitar. So you're getting about 310k with Ryan Suter. So that's addition with Ryan Suter. And if Ryan Suter goes for like 300-400k, that could be a valid offer. You never know. Uh, and this deal, Rask, Varlamov, Milan Lucic, and Dustin Bufflin. You know what? I'm going to cut the clip here. And you know what? You know what? I might just reject this first offer because I don't like the Pecorine in this deal. Uh, just because I want a little bit more. Uh, but anyways... I'm going to reject the first deal, only because uh, 
it's a great great deal I'm, I'm not gonna lie like I really want to take it uh, but those four players you gotta add just a little bit something to that deal to spice it up and this deal really does interest me because the Ryan Suter and then you get the Jonathan Quick Patrick Angelo Kopitar 50k combo uh, so I will check the value of him right now and you guys will be able to see uh, so I'm not um, like making up numbers here but this goes to browse auctions left defenseman uh, Movember right Movember at the end and Ryan Suter he is 92 overall I don't think he's had a boost right I think he's actually 92 overall in this game so I think he might go for maximum not too much uh, but the thing is right now if you do pull a Movember card and he does go to like 95 overall like a team of the year card of him comes out his overall will go up to 95 as well 267 that's what I was afraid of it's just about the same value for around his regular card right now and people understand that they just want to get rid of him at the moment 234k that's not gonna cut it that's not gonna cut it anyways what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to reject that deal and I'm gonna come back to Jonathan Taves later and I'm gonna show you if I accept an offer or not uh, because he is a very expensive player when you add this all up it's going to be under 600k for sure uh, so I'm going to reject that deal. I'm hoping that guy with the, the Calgary and the Ottawa uh, packs resends it back in. And I can hopefully accept another deal for Jonathan Taves because I do want to have a couple pucks for Hot Roulette. Anyways, I'll be right back and we'll see if I can cut the clip there and uh, I'll end it off there. Yeah, guys, I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, I actually went out. Uh, for a couple hours and there wasn't really any trades for Jonathan Taves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna post out a couple more Hut Roulette episodes out tomorrow I'm gonna try to get around three to four uh, this video should be out tonight the trade day results uh, so if you guys are still watching uh, I will be doing some Hut Roulette tomorrow a lot of them I know you guys were saying marathon is not usually uh, just two videos but trust me it's gonna be over a span of the next three four days don't worry about that all right anyways that's just about it I hope you guys enjoyed this trade day results hopefully I entertain you a little bit I will be um, making some more hot roulette and maybe a trade day video soon as well again because this one was pretty successful anyways thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys later bye Oh yeah, what a tip. Who was that?